My book is entitled The New Alberta Advantage, and I want to explain what that means. The Alberta oil sands producers, uh, they believe that over the next five to 10 years, uh, markets that they want to get into in Asia, like China, India, Singapore, are going to be implementing a combination of uh, carbon pricing and more restrictive climate policies. So that could be something like banning internal combustion engine uh, vehicles from large cities, something like that. And so if, the, if they've already decarbonized or taken the carbon out of the barrel for their heavy crude oil that gets pr produced up in northern Alberta, then they won't have to pay little or no carbon tax in those Asian markets. But their competitors, so we're talking about Venezuela, Mexico, Brazil, Nigeria, uh, Saudi Arabia, countries like that, they will have to pay that carbon tax. And that makes the Alberta heavy crude oil cheaper. Gives them a big, big competitive advantage down the road. But it's more than that. Because the reason the emissions are high in the oil sands is because they're uh, burning natural gas to create steam. That steam is used to thin out the, the bitumen so to make it, to produce it, basically. And so if they can reduce or eliminate the use of natural gas in their production, either on the SAG-D side, in the in-situ side, or on the mining side, then they're also driving down their costs in a big way. So when you hear CEOs like uh, Suncor's Steve Williams talk about being cost and carbon competitive, that's what he's talking about. So if they have if they have a lower carbon intensity of their heavy crude oil, if they have lower operating costs than their competitors, they are set up for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And they will be competitive. Now, that's why they support Rachel Notley's uh, uh, energy and climate policies. Because Notley has basically consulted with them. In fact, if you're a regular reader of my column, you know the story about how the oil sand CEOs started meeting with the environmental groups in late 2014. And basically the oil sands emission cap of 100 megatons, the province-wide carbon levy, the uh, carbon tax on the industry, and also 45% uh, reduction in uh, uh, fugitive methane emissions. All of that was agreed to long before the NDP came to power in 2015. So the oil sands producers have, have been way out in front of this and Notley based, essentially uh, enshrined what they wanted in the climate leadership plan and in their energy policies. That's the new Alberta advantage. Decarbonize to drive down costs and to avoid carbon pricing and other restrictive climate policies in the Asian markets. That's the future for the Alberta oil sands.